what's left of it. Ooh. My back's killing me. That spare bed should have health, won't it? Not that I'm complaining. Fancy a brew? I've already had one. I'll tell you what, forget that. Why don't I make us one of my world-famous slap-up brunches? No, thank you. Come on, let me do something nice for you. OK, you want to do something nice? With bells on. Been tidy up round here, I'm off for a trim. <sighs> Jen, meet me halfway here. Just tell me how I can fix things between us. Well, right now, I haven't got a clue. But I'm fairly certain it's not with undercooked sausages and rubbery fried eggs. I thought you liked my fry ups. <sighs> just talk to me, OK? We can't just run away from this. I think you'll find that running away is your particular speciality. Yes, Peter, I'll be there bang on time. Look, I've got to go. Um, I'll see you at the meeting. And thanks again for doing this. Yeah, I said that. I feel absolutely fine. I'll speak to you later. Hey, who was that? Oh, it's just Seb, my dear me. Oh, half day, is it? Checking up on me. Hey, don't listen. Forgot me packed lunch. Oh, you should have said I would have brought it over. Well, I didn't want to bother you. No, oh, just admit it. You wanted to see Abby. I don't have to admit anything. <laughs> My big brother is so in love with you. Oh, have a word. <laughs> Sorry, you're on your own. So, what's on the agenda today? I haven't really got anything planned. It's just being tied on with snow dundered over there, so I might not be able to put that later. Stop worrying about me. Do you know what? I'll make us a spot of lunch. Mm. Sorted. Well, I don't want to be any trouble. No, don't be daft. Anyway, I've got this gorgeous new recipe I am gagging to try out. And you've nothing better to do. Oh, come on. Let me spoil you. It's about time me and you got to know each other better. And she won't take no for an answer. Lunch it is, then. I think you'll find I'm the one who's supposed to be reassuring you. Don't be daft. You've just had major surgery. You've got every right to be exhausted. I'll go back to sleep, and I'll see you soon. Yes, I will let people know. <laughs> I love you, Gran. Bye. All good? Yeah. No problems? None at all. Awesome. How's she sound? Almost like her old self. No word of a lie, it was weird. It's like she's literally got a heart back. I've always said, can't keep a person like Yasmin down forever. Yeah, and Jeff's gonna learn that the hard way. Hi, this is Nikki. Please leave a message. Hey, Nikki. It's me, again. I hate to sound like a pest, but I really need to see you today. So, please, will you call me back as soon as you pick this up? Take care. Hey, Adam. Yeah. Uh, it was filed on the eighth. Yeah, everything's good here. I'm just trying to read your handwriting. Difficult to read. The scratchings of a deranged chicken would be easier to decipher. <laughs> OK. Yeah, OK. See you later. Got your hair done? Uh, just to tidy up. Well, you look a million dollars. Oh. Johnny's in for a treat when he gets back. Well, he got back yesterday, and um, I can assure you that treats of any description were an extremely short supply. So not a happy homecoming, then? 
Sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully we'll get through it. As soon as a certain someone gets his act together, right? <sighs> Do you want me to try and talk some sense into him? You're a marriage counsellor as well? Only when it's a marriage worth saving. Well, you've hardly even seen us together. I've seen enough to know that you're the best thing that's happened to Johnny Boy. Yeah, well, Johnny Boy's got a very strange way of showing it. Hey, I never said he was the sharpest arrow in the quiver. You still really care about him, even after all these years? Mates are mates. In my book, there's no expiry date on friendship. I'm also a big believer in second chances. Is that a hint? A woman with your brains doesn't need a hint. You know a decent bloke when you see one. Not keeping you, Anna. Nope. You didn't eat much. Oh, I'm not really that hungry. <laughs> or maybe it's just the company. Or maybe I preferred being interrogated on an empty stomach. Interrogated? I mean, that's the whole reason for this intimate little lunch, isn't it? Just, just ask your questions, Debbie. Fair enough. What's the situation with you and our Kev? Asking you to move in here was a big step for him. Yes, as was saying yes for me. Any second thoughts? No, nope, we both know a good thing when we see it. It's that simple. Yep. I mean, Kev, don't really do a complicated. Is anything else? Don't really do small talk either. <laughs> Look, if I promise not to give you the third degree, will you have a glass of wine with me? I don't, I don't, I don't drink during the day. Oh, coffee then. Oh, come on, it's not like you've got anything better to do. Or do you? Nope. Um, I just, I prefer to get some fresh air. You know, go for a walk, like. Absolutely. A walk it is, then. Yeah, you know, if it's all the same to you, I'd rather be just be on my, on my own. No offence. None taken. I am a bit full on, aren't I? It's more like that. <laughs> but, you know, thanks. Thanks for lunch. You're very welcome. <sighs> Sorry I'm running so late. The boy wouldn't stop talking. Oh, that's all right. Do you mind if I shoot off? Oh, Tracy had enough of Berta already, has she? To be honest, I'm amazed she agreed to babysit in the first place. No, it's not that. Tracy doesn't mind having him. I just thought that I might catch up with some mates. All oh, right, so you're asking for a half day to go and get drunk? Yeah, we could have a couple. The answer's no. What? You heard me. I've got a stack of casework that needs organising. That takes priority. Are you serious? Too right I'm serious. I can't believe you've even got the cheek to ask me. You've hardly been Mr Reliable recently. I... I know, but... Daniel, no buts. Part-time doesn't mean in your own time. You leave when I leave or you find yourself another job. Look, I'm sorry, but you're the one that's always telling me to take my career more seriously. Whatever. You're the boss. Yeah, and I'm a very generous one at that. You know what? To prove my point, I'm going to treat us both to a bistro takeaway. Which, no doubt, I have to go and collect. Well, like you say, I'm the boss. You know, it's one thing mislaying your hand luggage on holiday, but coming on without the hobby? You made me look a complete idiot. I'm the only idiot round here. Well, if you're expecting me to disagree with you. Well, I get that you're angry, but I don't know how many other ways that there are I can say sorry. I don't want another apology. I want a reason for us to stay together. What? It, is there another woman? Oh, of course not. I love you. I love you more than anything. You have to believe that. I do believe that. Which is why it makes what you did all the more confusing. And there's no excuse. What you said earlier was right. I did run away. What, from? Me? No. You're about the only thing that makes any sense in my life at the moment. Well, then I don't understand. It's hard to explain. There's stuff that I thought I'd dealt with. What kind of stuff? I kind of didn't want to burden you with. And I thought if I stayed in France, then it would sort itself out. And did it? <sighs> oh, well, there's a surprise. You know, this is so you. You always shut me out. I never meant to hurt you. Except you did! <sighs> Not with a beer delivery. Yeah. 
This conversation isn't over. I know. And just, just for the record, my life only makes sense when you're in it as well. Never forget that. about some fundraising idea. Mind if I join you? I'm gonna go all morning. Sure. You look tired. Mm. I'm fine. You work too hard, you? No. No, I love being busy. It's just, um, well, I haven't been sleeping that well recently. And I do manage to doze off and having some pretty messed up dreams. Been thinking about Todd. You've always been an open book to me, remember? Yeah, he's, uh, he's been on my mind a lot. Anyway, enough about me. How are you doing? Oh, you know me, muddling along. What was it you were looking at when I walked in? Anything or anyone interesting? Uh, thank you. Nothing like that. Not like what? It isn't important. Why well, won't you tell me? Because you're already not sleeping, that's why. What was it about Todd? I'm just trying to get some more answers for Eileen, and I got in touch with my mate at the homeless shelter who's put me onto a website. Right? What sort of website? It's a missing persons database where they've got um, all unidentified bodies found. A playlist for Grant. Yeah, been working on it for a few days. Every track's a banger. But we're talking chill, full motivation. All right, give me your phone. I want to hear this. You're looking pleased Thank with you. yourself. Help tear apart another family, have we? All right, come on, you don't need this. That's OK. Jeff obviously hasn't heard the good news. What good news is that? About your wife, of course. The operation was a complete success. Yeah, full recovery expected. I didn't even know she'd had it. No? Wow. That must be hard for someone like you to take. I mean, being that much out of the loop has got to hurt. I haven't got time for your nonsense. Seriously, though, you think things are tough for you now? Well, my gran's going to come out of this stronger than ever. Good for her. She's going to wipe the floor with you. Yeah, 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 I'm really worried. And when she's finished with you, you're not going to have anything or anyone left in your life. I certainly know what my Sunday sermon's going to be about. They find bodies every single day. No, I don't know how you can look at that. Makes me feel useful. I'm as useful and as tormenting yourself. What if he's on here, dead and forgotten? He isn't. I'd know it. What is it? Um, I get these notifications. I'm on a... Missing persons chat forum. Sean? They found a man's body in the canal yesterday. Is there a problem? <laughs> I'm sorry, Baz. It's just you and that suit. Why? What's wrong with you? Two words. Pig and lipstick. Hmm. Look, are you going to take the mic or are you going to sign paperwork? I'm already late for this shindig, and I've got me the date waiting in car. Oh, and you're concerned a guy dog's going to overeat. You're all right, you are, Baz. Yeah, and you're not as chuffing funny as you think you are. Just for that, I think I'll reread this section. Oh, come on, Ray Mondo. At this rate, the duel will be over before I even get there. And that's my problem, Al. Oh, yeah? Yep, picking up. Order for Adam Barlow. Take a seat. Someone will be with you in a bit. OK, look, this is getting beyond a joke now. The more you rush me, the slower I read. I thought I told you to wait in car. The driver's getting knacked, says he's got no fare on at 2.30. Like I give a monkeys. Well, aren't you going to introduce the spans? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, Ray, meet Nicky. Nicky, meet Ray. Nice to meet you. Pull up a pew. We won't be much longer. Afternoon. So is he out the doghouse yet? Well, it's um, it's a work in progress. We had a little chat earlier. I hope you don't mind. So I took your advice, but of course, getting this one to open up, it's like pulling teeth. Well, maybe I should give it a crack. Be my guest. Trust me. You don't want to hear about my problems. Hey, what are mates for? Besides, we owe ourselves a proper chinwag. Unless, of course, his services are otherwise required. He's all yours. Are you certain we haven't met before? I'm sure I know you from somewhere. I don't think so. No? I'm sure I've seen you around my hotel in the Northern Quarter. I work in hospitality. Maybe that explains it. Of course. That must be it. Right. There we are. All done. Sorry for the delay. Yeah, like heck you are. Right, we're just going to go splash the pirate and then we're out of here. All classes are, Baz. I'm sorry, I forgot about you. Two pulled porks, was it? And mash. I'll chase up chef. Try not to steal anything. It's a long story. tried calling. I've left voicemails. And I already told you that I wasn't available for the rest of the week. I need to see you. No, what you have to do is go over there and not hassle me. Please, Nikki. Who's this? No one. I'm sorry. It'll be another ten minutes. Just tell me what he's paying you and I'll cover it. Do you know this bloke? No. I'll give you double. This isn't happening. Oh, so this is what you meant by hospitality. Belt up! I'm really sorry about this. Never been so embarrassed in my entire life. And that is certainly saying something. Look, this is my fault. Was I talking to you? Daniel, walk away now. Much as I'd like to see you rearrange his face, Baz, please take it outside. I've just had the place refitted. Nah. Nah, he's not worth it. And neither are you. Oi! You owe me 500 quid! <laughs> You'll be lucky. Thanks a lot. Oh, we a naughty boy. I've blocked out the whole day. I've even wore these poxy high heels. Tough. I've got bills to pay. I'm not interested. Oh, where's my pigging taxi? Nicky, I've said I'll give you the money. Stay out of this. We had a deal! Yeah, I had a deal with what I thought was a bit of sophisticated arm candy. Not some some dirty scrubber who touts for business the minute my back's turn. Ah! What the Why, you little Just leave her alone! Oh what, eh? Oh what? Touch him and you're dead! Now, what are the chances of that? Looks like it's not your day, guys. He don't yeah. want any part of this. I'll this talk to the police. And you'll say what exactly? Get lost, for Bertie's sake. She's special, that Jenny. I'm glad you two are working things out. Thanks to you, apparently. Uh, wow. Well, I'd love to take the credit, but I were pushing at an open door. Even so, you didn't have to speak up for me. What are old mates for? That's assuming we are still mates. Yeah, of course we are. Because I'd hate to think that your little disappearing act had anything to do with me. We'd already booked the tickets. 
Doesn't change the fact that your missus came home on a Jack Jones. I just needed some extra time away. Don't take it so personally. I never take anything personally these days. I'm a changed man in that respect. Look, uh, last few years have been difficult. Yeah, I, I've heard you, you've had a rough time of it. Anyway, things just get on top of me sometimes. And then out the blue, my ugly mug shows up. I was surprised. I can imagine. Just between the two of us, what was your first thought when you saw me again? Dunno. It's hard to remember. Come on. You can do better than that, Johnny boy. I'm not sure what you want from me. Truth always works. Scott. After what we did, pound to a penny, your first thought was how the hell did that lunatic hunt me down? Now, why don't we start over? Coming up this weekend, which of these famous inspectors gets your vote? Find out who you've picked as Britain's favourite detective. We'll have the results and a rundown of your top 25 this Sunday night at 8 here on ITV. Will DCI Stanhope make the list, though? We've crime drama next with Vera.